Hello everybody, Antoine here from Architecture, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're building a house that I started a long time ago. Um, started building this house one month ago and I'm finally here finishing it. So this house is inspired by a drawing that I found on Tumblr and it is a beautiful 19th century mansion. Um, I believe in America and I really love the style of this house. There are a lot of details everywhere. Um, the house and I thought that it would be perfect to use the custom content made by Felix Sander to create this house because Felix created a lot of different ornament details that you can put everywhere on the house and this is really not easy but really enjoyable to create such a house when you have so many options in terms of design and elements. So this house is pretty big, um, it's not really a house, actually I would rather call it a manor or a mansion and it has a lot of towers, elements and rooms but from the outside it looks really big but once you're inside it's not that big at all because I don't know, the shape is unusual so you can do everything you want inside so there are actually only four bedrooms with their own bathrooms, so in total there are um, four, yeah, four bathrooms and four bedrooms. There are two living rooms, a dining room, a kitchen, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And there's also a ceiling with a lot of stuff, like I really wanted it to look like a real, um, did I say ceiling? No, it didn't. I didn't want to say selling it, I meant an attic, yeah. Um, so the attic is really um, full of objects that you don't need anymore, you know, and I like the atmosphere of this room, but this is not my favorite room. My favorite room is, mm, I'm hesitating between the yellow living room and the green living room, but let's say the living rooms in general, <laughs> yeah, they're my favorite rooms in this house. Um, for the style in the interior I went for a really eclectic style using some wood panels and golden items from the 18th century and also from the 19th century, really Victorian looking, just to make it look like it's the house of a rich person um, or a noble, you know, and I was thinking that this person was collecting a lot of different stuff, a lot of pieces of hearts, a lot of paintings, a lot of Chinese um, Chinese objects and so on. So I really wanted to have a really eclectic style in the inside and I think um, it turned out pretty well. But you will see it by yourself in a few minutes. Yeah, and also I would like to thank you all um, for being so active in the channel even if I'm not here because I noticed that a lot of people actually subscribe and now we're almost 700 no 7500 which is absolutely huge and it's actually funny because it feels like I get more subscribers when I'm not active on the channel but anyway it's good and yeah it's so nice to see you see you all in the channel um, and a few days ago we reached 500,000 views in total on the channel which is absolutely huge and this big amount of views is actually um, the consequence of two videos which are the um, Californian Chateau with almost 150 a uh, thousand views and also the millionaire villa with about the same amount of views so this is really big and I don't really realize what it means like I don't know yeah I know that it's huge but I can say like wow I did it myself even if I did but anyway it's really strange to explain <laughs> So, you probably noticed that I wasn't active, as I told you, for a few weeks, and some of you know the reasons, and some of you don't, so 
I told in previous videos that I was actually accepted as an intern at the Palace of Versailles in France and I actually started two weeks ago and I'm really busy there because I'm working from yeah 30 past 9 to 5 in the afternoon but you know I have to take uh, one hour and a half in the morning the train and the same thing on the evening so I spend a lot of time in the train which is not that um, terrible actually because I have time to, to read, to listen to music or to do many things but you know I'm not home and when I'm when I go back home I'm really tired, exhausted uh, by my day and I can't really you know go on my computer, focus in the sims, build things, you know, the only thing I want to do is eat then go to sleep so this is pretty much what I do when I'm <laughs> going back home so yeah I didn't really find town find found yeah I found time um, to build another house and to create some more videos and I'm really sorry about it because believe me uh, I miss it and today I was as I was finishing this house I was so happy to be back in the game and it was really a good feeling to be back with the Sims 4 so yeah my internship probably I could tell you a bit about it because a lot of you um, talk to me about this so this is an actual dream <laughs> just yeah just this is so cool you can imagine like um, on the first day when I went there um, there's a guy and um, in the department where I'm working who's really um, like I don't know my tutor or yeah I think we call him like like this and he's a photographer in the past and on the first day it took me to places that I wanted to visit for ages like you know in, in Versailles there are so many rooms that are not um, open to the visitors so it was such a privilege to go there and you probably don't know it, but on Monday the palace is closed to the visitors and we are actually as employees able to go there, even if it's closed. Which means that every Monday I go to the palace and I wander in the corridors, in the rooms, and I'm absolutely alone. Like, you can imagine how amazing it feels, because when I went there as a tourist, it was ever... It was always crowded, like there were thousands and thousands of people and you can't really enjoy your visit. So, being able to go there on Monday, this is a real dream. And the most beautiful thing for a lot of people is of course the Hall of, the hall of Mirrors. And believe me, when it's empty, it's something else. <laughs> like it's really another room. You can really enjoy it for what it is. And you know, you're not surrounded by so many tourists that are not really respectful or anything, they're just here to push you. And now, being able to go to the palace when it's empty, it's such a privilege and I feel so blessed to for this internship. But yeah, of course I'm not wandering all day long in the palace, I have work, so I'm actually creating all the content on the social medias of the palace. So if you go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, um, you can see my posts because um, yeah, 90% of the posts that are posted on the palace's networks are actually mine. I mean, not a picture because the picture are taken by the photographer I told you about just before, but the text and also the ID of the post um, and it's absolutely fascinating because we're all working together, uh, some art specialist, history specialist, and when you have a question you can just call them and they will explain you uh, what you need to know, and this is truly interesting, like, um, the week before it was the museum week, don't know if you know the, the concept, actually, uh, every day there's an hashtag, uh, with a different theme, so for example Monday was women, 
then it was city heritage and so on and i presented many pieces of arts pieces of art and i was helped by some really um really talented people who knew everything about arts about history of arts and it was so interesting to have all those explanation about the paintings about um, the painter's life and so on and this is what I really like about this internship like every day I learn something every day I, dis I discover a thing that I never heard about and this is truly fascinating and in the, in the department where where I am there are also two girls that are working with Google and um, and they're working on virtual reality project and I tried it like your inverse high um, three centuries ago and it feels so good it feels so realistic you're really inside and it is so exciting and they're all working on so exciting projects and yeah this is really you know I'm a bit overwhelmed by everything so um, I don't really know how to express my feelings because you know this is this was a dream for me and I'm finally there and I'm working there and my current life is all about the palace and this is all I ever wished and you know now it's it's true it's really happening and it's strange to the thing that you that I'm actually working in the past but anyway I'm really busy but I really enjoy it and you know I'm there until September but I I'm already thinking about the day where I'm going to leave and I don't want to leave because this is the perfect place for me, I think. Um, now I can't imagine myself anywhere anywhere else. And yeah, but there are a lot of new things um, that are going to happen in the next few weeks for me. Fascinating things, really interesting, um, really exciting things. So I will keep you updated in the next videos if you're interested. But I know that some of you are really interested in this because I got a lot of congrats messages on Twitter or questions um, in the comments or also on Twitter and it was really nice to, to share this experience with you. So I think I told you pretty much everything. Um, I will let you enjoy the rest of the video if you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!